Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Christopher. I'm one of your brothers here at Capuchin College. I've been invited to share a brief reflection on an experience of today's word. I recently spoke with our brother Akola, who was home in Cameroon, attending the family matters precipitated by the passing of his mother. He's been there uh, nearly a month. It took us nearly three days to finally connect. His time zone is six hours ahead of us, creating most of the problem. I would finish dinner and have the evening free, and it would be 1 a.m. there. Uh, he would be up early, and I would be in class. Today's readings are about time zones. In the feeding of the 5,000, two chapters before our reading today, the disciples were concerned with money. How are we going to pay for the necessary provisions you are asking for, Jesus? Today, they are concerned with distance. Some of them have come a great distance, Jesus says. For three days, they had postponed the organism's need for nourishment, satisfied as they were with the hearing of the word, being in the presence of Jesus. I wonder if they even realized how long it had been. They were living in deep time, not local time. Jesus, wrapped up in pity for them, asked that they return to local time, to eat, to care for the needs that present themselves in that time zone, for the body. Distance is a curious thing. It involves both time and space. We have all here also come a great distance. We are not the little girl or boy who used to gaze back at ourselves brushing our teeth in the mirror as we are now when we brush our teeth. We are not dealing with acne or popularity at the high school level. By all measures, we are a great distance away from what we once were. However, sometimes a moment reveals that we may not be quite as far from where we once were as we thought. We have come a great distance since February 1st, 1865, when slavery was abolished, yet Charlottesville was two years ago. We have come a great distance from 2001 with breaking news of sexual abuse ailing our church. Yet bishops make headlines nearly once a week. The sin I was confessing readily at 16 was on my list last confession. If I were to ask you the same question God asked Adam in today's first reading, where are you? You might say, I am at 4121 Harewood Road. I am in DC. I am beside my brother. I am beside my partner. I am far from heaven, far from living right. God seems to be calling Adam in an opposite way, back into deep time. Yet we answer locally. Where would you be if I asked you now to take a step towards yourself? How would you cover that distance? I suspect, like myself, being the good Westerner that I am, we go to the mind. Maybe that reveals how Cartesian you are. We think where we might be. I think, therefore, I am. Wouldn't it have been better if he said, I am, therefore, I am? Being precedes thinking. The mind is never present. Better to say, I am aware. Because if I were to ask you if you are aware, you have to go to your awareness to answer that question, not to your thinking about awareness. That's not awareness, that's thinking about awareness. 
You have to be aware in order to think. If I were to ask you where you were, and we didn't spawn, respond locally, I am at 4121 Harewood Road, I am in my body, I am here. Better we say, I am arriving. I am in Christ. This is deep time. This is how we learn to navigate these two time zones, by being with the one who is in both, creating both, sustaining both. This is the image of the cross, where deep time intersects with local time. I want to sort of conclude with a, a quote from Burton that I think has a, a good way of detailing how we express this in prayer. Contemplation does not simply find a clear idea of God and confine him within the limits of that idea and hold him there as a prisoner to whom it can always return. On the contrary, contemplation is carried away by him into his own realm, his own mystery, his own freedom. It is a pure and virginal knowledge, poor in concepts, poorer still in reasoning, but able by its very poverty and purity to follow the word wherever he may go. Where are you? If you are only in one time zone, you are under travel. Thank you.